You guys remember a lawyer by the name of Mark Randazza? If you've watched the Purple Mattress lawsuit, and there's been one or two others, Mark Randazza represented Ryan Monahan, I believe, in the uh, defense of the Purple Mattress lawsuit. So Mark Randazza has been facing some disciplinary action, and we've mentioned before that he appealed and we were wondering if it was just for timing or for what. But then this came down, October 10th, 2018. This is an automatic review of a disciplinary board hearing panel's recommendation, this is in the state of Nevada, that this court approve a conditional guilty plea agreement in exchange for a stated form of discipline for Mark J. Randazza. Under the agreement, Randazza admits to a violation of Rule of Professional Conduct 1.8a regarding conflicts of interest with current clients and Rule of Professional Conduct 5.6 regarding restrictions on the right to practice in exchange for a 12-month suspension, which is then stayed or itself suspended for a period of 18 months subject to conditions. So before we continue, let me explain that last part. A 12-month suspension stayed for 18 months subject to conditions works a lot simpler than it sounds. He has a 12-month suspension, but it's not going into effect. It's not happening. It's just been sentenced and written down. Here is your sentence. But they will not enact the suspension for at least 18 more months. He will be subject to some kind of conditions like a probationary period or something during the 18 months where he's allowed to continue doing stuff and having a license and not be suspended. If at the end of 18 months he's kept his nose clean, the court should recognize all of that by dismissing the 12 month suspension or otherwise considering it be having been served. Randazza has admitted to the facts and violations alleged in two counts set forth in the amended complaint. The record therefore establishes that Randazza did violate the above listed rules by loaning money to his client without informing the client in writing of the desirability of obtaining independent counsel and by negotiating with opposing counsel to receive, as part of a settlement, a retainer for future legal services from opposing counsel. Randazza admitted to the violation as part of the plea agreement. The issue for this court is whether the agreed upon disciplines officially protects the public, the courts, and the legal profession. In determining the appropriate discipline, we weigh the duty violated, the lawyer's mental state, the potential or actual injury caused, and the existence of aggravating or mitigating factors. Randazza has admitted to violating duties owed to his client, conflict of interest, and the legal profession, restrictions on the right to practice, and the admitted facts reflect that the admit that the misconduct was knowing. His conduct may have caused a delay in the disbursement of settlement funds to his client, the baseline sanction for both rule violations before considering aggravating and mitigating circumstances is suspension. The record supports one aggravating circumstance and three mitigating circumstances. The aggravating circumstance was that his substantial experience in the practice of law, meaning he should know better, and the three mitigating circumstances were the absence of a prior disciplinary record, the full and free disclosure to the disciplinary authority of, uh, and a cooperative attitude towards the proceeding, and a delay in the disciplinary proceedings. I'm not sure what the delay was, but that appears to be not his fault. Considering all the factors, we conclude that the agreed upon discipline is appropriate. Accordingly, we hereby suspend Mark J. Randazza for 12 months, stayed for 18 months commencing on the date of this order, subject to the following conditions. Randazza shall, quote, stay out of trouble during the probationary period, meaning that he will have no new grievance arising out of conduct post-dating the date of the plea, which results in the imposition of actual discipline, which is a letter of reprimand or above. 
two, he shall successfully complete an additional 20 hours of continuing education in ethics in addition to his normal CLE requirements. That's a big deal, guys. It's hard to find ethics credits sometimes because you only need like two out of 12 hours. So only 15% is ethics. So he's going to have to find all of the ethics credits for, for a 12 month period, basically, and do all of them because there's just going to be that much to do. So that's, that's fine. I mean, I'm just letting you know that that's not just like one course. There isn't one 20 hour ethics course. It's usually a one or two hour course. So he's going to have to attend a bunch of them or find a really long one. He shall seek the advice and approval of an independent and unaffiliated ethics attorney in the relevant jurisdiction before obtaining any conflicts of interest waivers during the probationary period. He and four, he shall pay the actual costs of the disciplinary proceeding, including $2,500 within 30 days of this court's order, if not done so already. And then here is the signatures of the Nevada Supreme Court. So there you go. We were wondering what was going to happen to Mark Randazza, and basically he's been given a last chance or a, a chance to keep his nose clean and avoid further discipline. That honestly sounds pretty fair to me, but I'm biased. Let me explain my bias. I'm hoping that if yours truly ever made a mistake that made it into some kind of complaint, and as far as like a bar complaint, that, that I would cooperate with the bar, that I would cooperate in admitting or not admitting my mistake, depending upon how I felt about it. But I would be overly polite and I would be very cooperative. And I'm hoping that a mistake would be overlooked in some kind of similar fashion with some kind of light, not punishment that then, you know, can be corrected. And that's usually what happens. And so I am reassured that if they'll even do that for Mark Randazza under these circumstances, as long as I don't do anything that bad, I'll be fine. That's re very, very, very reassuring. So that's cool to me. At the same time, there are lots of people who think lawyers are corrupt and they should get everything that's coming to them when they screw up. And I understand that too. It's a great amount of responsibility and and so if someone has more or less intentionally or knowingly misused their power that's a pretty big deal too so i, I kind of feel feel you both sides on this one but i'm personally biased in favor of i want to be reassured that i'll keep my job if i mess up as long as i don't mess up too bad and i try to correct it quickly eat crow while the crow is young and tender or surely you will eat it when it is old and tough all right, everyone, and that is our show. Thank you very much for joining us. I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney, and of course with us today was Kurt Mueller, your favorite patent attorney. Thank you very much for being here, and thank you to our special guest in the studio here, Kaylee. Hello. This is a community-supported channel. Thank you very much for supporting us on patreon.com slash ljfrench. Big thank you to the following October supporters at the $50 level. Jonathan Doe, John Steele, Gavin Barnard, Evie, Andy, Kyle Mudrock, Vera Mantain, Sean McNamara, William Gonzalez, Michael Pierce, Grunkle Tia Marie, Terry Crisp, Richard Fournier, Michael Jones, Spirit Bear, and Jan the Grey. Thank you very much for your support. And thank you to the $5 plus supporters who are scrolling on the LED panel behind me. And I will find room for you on the crawl at the end of the thing. Please continue to send in your stories. Please continue to donate money in support of our efforts. And we will continue to deliver, I believe, where we did five videos this week for you, which is pretty cool. And please continue to sub to our channel. We are sitting at 99,814 subscribers. And we would very, very, very much like to cross over into the 100,000 subscriber range there. So thank you again for joining me. I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. Have a great Sunday and a great week. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>